Hi, this is Tracy Greenwood. I'm standing here with Shannon Day. Um, we have just finished the Women's Bikini and Fitness Olympia Finals. And what do you think, Shannon? You want to wrap this up? Let's talk about fitness. I know. What an exciting night. The fitness routines are always, I think, the highlight. I, I would have to agree. I would have to agree. They're probably the most exciting part of the women's finals. And it's really exciting to see the new stuff that everybody comes up with, new themes and all that. It's and all, think, it is fun to kind of try and figure out, okay, what, what theme is she doing? We'll listen to the music, look at the costume. And I think you and I probably agree on our favorite. I, I, I'm going to say, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go with, I, I liked Oksana's yep. Yep. Uh, routine. She yep. was the avatar. She is... Uh, over the top with her skill level and her flawless skills that she does on stage. I really just don't think there's another competitor out there that can touch her no. on that. And what most people that probably haven't done fitness don't understand is everything to her perfect toe points to everything yes. that's extended and absolutely beautiful yes. and, yes. and just the the fact of, of having the guts to get up there painting like an avatar that's cool yeah. right exactly when you got to get back out on stage without yeah. a blue face yes. right yes. Um, I also liked Miriam Capes's routine yes yeah, she's always brought a great routine to the stage and I think this tonight was yeah no again again she's another um, another competitor that really perfects her moves. Mm -hmm. She's very clean, yeah. uh, she has good energy. Um, and then I, I'd have to say rookie, new, new timer, Michelle Blank was also in one of my top top routines tonight. She um, uh, don't didn't really love her theme too much. Uh, she did a Miss Congeniality because she is an FBI agent. Right. Um, so she wanted to do the Miss Congeniality theme. Uh, was, didn't love the theme, but her skill, her execution, um, and her energy level. Yeah, just keeping the energy yeah. up through the whole two minutes. Right. Keeping that energy going for two minutes. You think, oh, two minutes, it's no big deal, but it's it's tough. Shannon and I have been so, there many yeah. times. It's yeah. hard to keep that going full steam with a big smile on your face for two minutes. Yeah. So it was interesting to see how the physique score was, uh, the physique round was scored this morning, right. and then watch the routines and then see how the actual top six laid out at right. night. So let's let's see if we can remember. Sixth place was our new timer, Michelle yeah. Blank, her first Olympia. She and she made top rookie. six, that's mm -hmm. great. Um, in fifth place we had... Was Oksana in fifth? It was Oksana. Mm -hmm. So I would have to say that because of Oksana's call outs this morning, that routine really helped squeak yeah. her into that top five. Right. Fourth place was Tina Durkin. Yes. I know Tina is probably very excited with that because oh, it's been a little while since she's been in the mm -hmm. top five, but she brought a really beautiful physique this morning. She did. And her routine was good enough to keep her in those top placings. Yes. Third place, we had Miriam Capes, and I'm sure that Miriam is very excited to get that bronze medal. She's been moving up over the years. I remember, I don't remember, it's probably been about five, six years ago when she just started, uh, and yeah. she has really just kept with I think it. 18th place was her first. Yeah. yeah, I think she went from 18th to 6th to 4th. So yeah, that's amazing. It's a big finish yeah. for Miriam. Top two, same top two, second place, Tangi. Yeah. And winning her sixth Olympia is Adela Garcia, and I, I just don't know who's ever going to be able to beat Adela. I know. Adela's awesome. Yeah. And I tell you, I saw her two days ago at the Meet the Olympians, and her face is beautiful. Yeah. You know, and I, I looked at her and I said, don't you get old? You know, she she's the ageless Well, it is true that, you know, being healthy and being fit really yeah. does keep your youth. She looked absolutely beautiful, and I don't even know how old she is. She's been around for a long time, but she looks like she's in her 20s. Yeah, she looks fantastic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. and I know she's very excited to keep winning. She yeah. did great. Yeah. So let's talk about bikini now. So I know you work closely with a lot of the bikini competitors. Yeah. So why don't you tell me overall how you felt the um, the bikini competition went and the top six finishing? I tell you what, this year's competition was really deep. There was a lot of great girls and a lot of big names throughout the whole show. So it was it was exciting to see how it all laid out. And really, it was anyone's show this year. I think it wasn't like on the way here. Everybody was saying, "Oh, this person's going to win." Right. It was an open field, so that yeah. was great. A lot of girls. Girls, lot, yes. big field, big yes. field, beautiful women. Yes. Yeah. So let's see, sixth place we had another rookie, India Paulino, and uh, she did a phenomenal job. She, she looked beautiful. She won the overall at the junior nationals this year, and I think the yellow rookie. suit really makes her stand out. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. She's actually um, a policewoman, so she's oh, yeah. So it's exciting. And then she came yeah. here and did that, so that was great for a rookie. So our fifth place in bikini, which I'm not sure whether she'll be happy about this, but it was our reigning mm -hmm. bikini Olympia champion, Sonia Gonzalez. Um, 
I didn't get a chance to talk to Sonia, uh, but she moved down a few spots, but she's still top five in the world. And in my she's book, that's beautiful. I mean, she that's, is always beautiful. She's a beautiful girl. She has she great really presentation is. on stage. And you know, uh, to be top five in the world is just a huge yes. accomplishment. Yes. Fourth place, we had Jamie, Jamie Baird. Baird. Jamie Baird did a repeat. Um, she oh. she was fourth place last year and uh, placed fourth again this year and she was thrilled. You know, again, these girls do understand to be top five mm -hmm. in the world is amazing and and it takes a long time to move from you know it's I mean, some of the smaller shows to to go from not in the top five to being in the top five is is not as difficult. But at the Olympia, just right. to move one place up <laughs> could take you years. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Because and everyone is that good at that level. Mm, and mm. Jamie looked absolutely incredible this yeah. weekend. Um, she was nice and full and tight and round, and um, she did a great job. Yeah. So on our third place spot, we had Diana Dahlgren. Diana Dahlgren. And actually, she did move up. Last year at the Olympia, she had um, a, a disappointing placing. I'm not quite sure where it was, but it wasn't in the top. And then she and moved to move into the top three. Yeah, that's so a, that that's, was phenomenal. Yes, mm -hmm. I'm sure she is incredibly yes. excited. Yes. And then our top two, second place again this year is Natalia Mello. We did get a chance to talk to Natalia. She's very happy with her placing. Of course, everybody wants to win, um, but there can only be one winner. But Natalia was beautiful. Oh, Natalia is, she's probably, uh, in my opinion, the sexiest girl in the sport. You know, well, could she's be. just, I mean, when she walks out on stage, you're just drawn to her. And and I think earlier today in prejudging, I heard all the buzz where it was between her. It was and, a very, it was a couple winner. of points, couple of points yeah. between first and second and place. And so all day it was like biting nails mm -hmm. and not knowing who it was going to be. But she's a beautiful competitor and a great girl with a good heart. And it's really nice to see mm -hmm. her do real well. And then winning her first Olympia was yeah. Nicole Negrani, who is a college student herself. Yeah. So it's nice to see her be able to juggle two very difficult things at the same time and excel at both of them. Right. You know, and, and being someone who was kind of in her position for many years, I, I respect her. And, you know, she did a fantastic job. And I think she's a very good champion. Yeah, Nicole's amazing. She, she'll be getting ready for a show and, and be doing homework the night before mm -hmm. in her room. She's... Um, relentless at pursuing her goals and I think that's a great I see you know she's she's half my age but she's a role model to me yeah. and I think she can be a great role model to a lot of people as I think Olympia. she will be and she's mm -hmm. very well spoken and very personable so I think she's gonna be a very good champion and um, I don't know if you know but she did her first competition at the age of 14 she did a fitness show at 14 and then moved to figure and then bikini so she's been in the sport for wow. several years yeah well that's great I didn't know that so, well, I want to thank you for joining me and wrapping you, up here. So from Fitness RX, this is Tracy Greenwood and Shannon Day, and thanks for joining us.